All right, so we have the range of the function f that maps x onto negative x squared. So we're going to enter the x values into the function negative x squared, and we should get some the range values. All right, so we're going to enter the domain values, which are the x values, into this function here. So when we enter negative 2, what do we get out? So negative of negative 2 squared, which is going to be negative of positive 4, because square of negative 2 is positive 4. I'll keep, we put back the negative outside. A negative of 4 is negative 4. So this guy is out. Let's try the next one. Um, negative 1. Uh, let's use negative 1 in there. Negative 1 to be squared. When we square negative 1, we get positive 1. So that's negative of positive 1, which gives us negative 1. Well, all these have negative <laughs> 1. They put 0 this time. Negative of 0 to be squared. That's going to be negative of 0, which is 0. All right, so this one is out because we should have a 0. Let's try 1. Um, negative of 1 to be squared. That's negative of square of 1 is 1. And so negative of 1 is negative 1. All right, so we already have negative ones already. Let's try 2 now. So negative of 2 to be squared, that's negative of 4. A negative of 4 is um, negative 4. We already have negative 4. All right, so we did not, for all the, these are the, um, the range values, negative 4, negative 1, and 0. So the answer is B. We did not get positive 1 nor positive 4.